Hi, my name's Kate Sargent from the Department of Primary Industries in Victoria. I'm the Evergrace Project Leader for the Future Farm Industry CRC. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Evergrace Feed Budget and Rotation Planner to develop a livestock ration for my use. Okay, so first of all we have to go into Data Entry. So in the Data Entry section you'll see under Other Useful Tools there's a button that says Develop a Livestock Feed Ration. That's the one we want. So in the life in the developer feed ration calculator we have to select firstly what type of animals we have so use and the average weight of my use is 50 kilos and they're currently pregnant and they're in the last month of pregnancy and I want to try and maintain their weight so it's an important time now these use are pregnant with twins and the number to be fed is 500 and I'm going to feed them for the month leading up to lambing so 30 days and the pasture quality is good so it's about 75 percent I think it's green and between 15 and 30 percent clover and I think I've only got about 500 kilos per hectare so I'm a little bit light on to see what 500 kilos per hectare looks like you can go to the go to the Lifetime Wool website and you'll see here that there's um, 500 kilos per hectare up in the top left hand corner so not very much feed available at this time unfortunately alright so let's have a look at what they're getting so 10.2 megajoules of energy and they're, they're eating about 1.1 uh, megajoule 1.1 kilos per day uh, the percentage of the ration is, of pasture is 100% and the energy intake from pasture is 4.7 protein is 23 and the fibre is 32 now it's important to note that the energy intake from these from these pastures is not calculated from this pasture intake kilograms per head figure the kilograms per head figure is coming from the progress tables and it's more used for working out how long a paddock will last the 4.7 megajoules of energy is really the figure you want to look at here. This energy figure is taken from the lifetime wall tables. Okay, so if I just scroll down here, let's have a look at what's going to happen to my animals. Alright, so you can see here that over my 30 days, uh, they're going to be negative 5.5 megajoules in, in deficit per day. So uh, they're obviously not getting enough feed. Uh, the protein in, and fiber in the ration is sufficient so it's the energy that's my problem down here under predicted weight loss and gain of the stock you can see that I'm going to lose about 156 grams per day and a total of 4.7 kilos for the period so at the end of the period I'm only going to have 45 kilo animals and they're going to have lost 0.5 of a condition score so we need to fix this problem Alright, so to maintain my ewes, I've decided that I'm going to feed them and I've got some wheat on hand. So I'm going to select under this supplement 1, wheat, and it's whole, and the amount as fed, I'm going to see if I can build them up to 0.5 kilos per day, and the value per ton is $300 per ton. Alright. So you can see here that the energy intake from the supplement is 5.9 and they're getting protein and fiber from this fiber is only 10%. Okay. So down in the summary, you can see that the energy surplus or deficit is now 0.3, so we're in the positive and we're getting 20% protein, which is plenty, and the fiber in the ration is 26. Now 26 is fine for sheep. But if you were feeding cattle, that fibre intake wouldn't be enough and you'd have to add some hay to the diet. So the dry matter intake versus maximum intake, this just tells you, particularly if you're feeding hay, then um, if, the, if the total intake was greater than the maximum intake, then you'd have to put something with less fibre into the diet because the hay would be too much fibre and, um, and so they can't actually eat enough in the day so just make sure that the maximum intake is greater than the total intake which in this in this case it is alright so the extra feed required for maintenance is zero 
My predicted weight loss or gain grams per day is 5 grams. So over the period, they're going to gain 0.2 kilos, uh, which is pretty much nothing. So I'm maintaining them well. And so um, the predicted change in condition score has gone from negative 0.5 and up to 0. So that's what I wanted. So what's it going to cost me? So the total tons of supplement that I'm going to need is 7.5 and the cost of the ration in dollars per head is $4.50 and the total ration cost is going to be $2,250. And, so the cost per kilogram live weight gained in this case is fairly irrelevant because I'm not trying to sell anything. However, um, you can see here that it's $15.70 because I'm not actually gaining very much. If this was lambs or, or weaner cattle, um, this would become quite relevant and you would put in a dressing percentage here and you'd get the cost per kilograms of carcass weight gained. If you wanted to enter your own feed test data um, for your feed, you'd simply uh, put, put the feed, against, feed test data against the uh, feed here and the calculator would use those figures for you. Okay, so that's how you would use the feed budget and rotation planner to develop a ration for uh, use and um, we'll develop some further rations in another tutorial for lambs and wiener cattle. Thank you very much.